A cyclic process. N moles of an ideal monatomic gas is initially at pressure P0, volume B0, and temperature T0. The gas undergoes a process consisting of adiabatic, isobaric at pressure P0, and isovolumetric steps, the process steps not listed in the correct order. The maximum pressure reached by the gas is 2P0, and the minimum volume the gas occupies is B0. Part A. If this device is to be used as a heat engine, draw a PV diagram showing the sense of rotation in the cycle. Clockwise or counterclockwise. Indicate all pressure volume pairs at each state. Now, in this process, we have an isobaric step at pressure uh, P0. So, we have the minimum volume B0, we have an adiabatic process to a certain volume B1, and then we have an isovolumetric, uh, iso, uh, isobaric process at P0 to volume V0. So, isovolumetric step at V0, uh, adiabatic expansion, and isobaric uh, compression. Now, what is the sense of rotation here? Uh, if you Look at the work done uh, on the gas. If you have a clockwise rotation, the right hand rule tells you that the, your thumb should point into the board if it's a clockwise rotation, which means it's a negative work done on the gas. That means work is being done by the gas. Therefore, this will be a heat engine. So the correct answer is clockwise rotation and uh, this basically makes sure that the work done on the gas is negative. Now this is a monatomic gas, therefore Cv is equal to 3 over 2R, Cp is equal to 5 over 2R, and gamma is equal to 5 over 3. So uh, we have uh, at the beginning of this uh, adiabatic process, a pressure uh, 2P0, 2P0 times the initial volume V0 to gamma 5 over 3 should be equal to final pressure P0, V1 to 5 over 3. And therefore, we see that uh, 2 to the power uh, 3 over 5 V0 is equal to we won. So you can see here that the P0s will cancel and then we take the uh, power 3 over 5. So 2 to the 3 over 5 V0 will be equal to V1. So we have to put here 2 to the power uh, 3 over 5 V0. So we have indicated all pressure and volume values. We have the noted that this is a clockwise rotation and uh, we have drawn the process uh, as we can see uh, in this diagram. Now let's move on to uh, part B. Uh, indicate on the PV diagram in which state the gas is coldest and in which state the gas is hottest. Okay. So in this PV diagram, if you draw an isotherm, an isotherm like this one or this one, you remember that for a diabetic process, it's a steeper curve. We can see that the lowest isotherm goes through point A and the highest isotherm goes through point C. Uh, at point A, we have a temperature T0. P0, V0 equals NRT0. At this point, we have 2P0, V0. So 2P0, V0 would be equal to NR2, T0. So that would be the maximum temperature. So for an isotherm, we have pressure times volume is a constant. And for an adiabat, we have pressure times volume to gamma is a constant and this is a steeper decrease steeper decrease since gamma is greater than 1 so 
we can recognize the lowest isoterm goes through P0, V0. That is our coldest point on the PV diagram. And the highest isoterm goes through 2P0, V0. That is the hottest point, hottest state in the PV diagram. All right, so um, this is our final answer. Let's look at part C of the problem. Part C, find the thermal efficiency of this engine, take 2 to the power 3 over 5 as 1.5. Now the efficiency of a heat engine is the work done by the engine, W engine, divided by the energy input in the form of heat that is QH. As you can see in this diagram, we input energy, we obtain work by the engine and part of the energy is expelled as QC to a cold reservoir. And because in a cyclic process the internal energy change should be equal to uh, zero, we have uh, the net heat added QH minus QC uh, plus the work done on the engine which is minus W engine is equal to zero so work done by the engine is qh minus qc therefore we recognize this efficiency to be qh minus qc divided by qh so this gives us for the efficiency one minus qc divided by qh now we have to recognize where we are extracting heat from the gas so qc uh, now you can see that in this process the temperature is uh, decreasing as i go from point b to point a so this is at a higher isotherm uh, so therefore i can see that this is going to happen in the isobaric process and cp delta t cp is 5 over 2 so it's 5 over 2 uh, r 5 over 2 and r delta t now the temperature here is 2 to the power 3 over 5 t0 because i have p0 2 to the 3 over 5 t0 so uh, 2 to the 3 over 5 minus 1 t0 so i find that the heat extracted is 5 over 2, 2 to the 3 over 5, minus 1, and R, T0. Now, uh, the final volume is V0, final temperature is T0, so normally this would be 1 minus 2 to the, th two to the 3 over 5, but because I have absolute value of uh, QC here, it's plus. Now, the heat added uh, between... Uh, points uh, B and C so from C to B I have an adiabatic process therefore there is no heat exchange so that part does not have any uh, contribution and then uh, I have from uh, C to A uh, or A to C where I'm heating it up A to C uh, this is an CV delta T uh, because uh, I'm heating up the gas at constant volume. This is 3 over 2 and R uh, T final is 2 T0 minus T initial is T0. So this is going to be equal to 3 over 2 and R T0. So that's my QH. That's the heat added. 3 over 2 and R T0. Now I can calculate the efficiency. Thermal efficiency is 1 minus QC over QH. So it's going to be 1 minus um, QC is uh, 5 over 2. 5 over 2. Um, 
2 to the 3 over 5 minus 1 and our t0 and qc qh is 3 over 2 uh, nrt0 so nrt zeros will uh, cancel and i will obtain uh, the twos will cancel as well i will obtain 3 minus uh, 5 times 2 to the 3 over 5 minus 1 so this will be 3 minus 5 times 0 0.5 because for this one I substitute 1.5 divided by 3 uh, so this is going to give me uh, 3 minus 2.5 which is 0 0.5 divided by 3 and therefore my efficiency is 1 over 6 all right and in part d uh, i want to know the thermal efficiency of a carnot engine that operates between the same set of heat reservoirs so i have the same highest temperature and lowest temperature for the carnot engine uh, the ratio uh, qc over qh is equal to tc over th so this is one minus T cold over T hot and the cold reservoir is at temperature T0 the hot reservoir is at temperature 2 T0 so therefore I obtain 0 0.5 or in other words the efficiency of the Carnot engine is 3 over 6 so this is basically higher than the uh, heat engine that we're talking about so this is our theoretical upper limit for this engine so in summary we talked about a cyclic process we have the lowest volume v0 highest pressure 2p0 the process consists of isobaric process at p0 isovolumetric process at v0 adiabatic process from uh, v0 to v1 and we know that this is a monatomic gas c, c the gamma is 5 over 3 so using pv to gamma is a constant 2 p0 v0 to gamma is p0 v1 to gamma we, we recognize v1 is 2 to 3 over 5 v0 and then uh, we recognize also that if this is a temperature t0 this would be a temperature 2 t0 because pv equals nrt and this would be a temperature 2 to the 3 over 5 t0 so we can see that this is the lowest temperature this is the highest temperature the isotherms uh, are basically shown in the pv diagram and the efficiency of the engine is worked on by the engine divided by the heat added to the engine for a heat engine it's 1 minus qc over qh and uh, because we have the first law of thermodynamics telling us the internal energy change in the cycle is zero implies work done by the engine is qh minus qc and then we recognize when do we extract heat from this engine that is going from point P to point A, the temperature is decreasing and Cp delta T. And from C to B, we have adiabatic process, no, no heat exchange. From A to B, we have an increase in temperature. That's when we are uh, absorbing heat from the hot reservoir. So that's 3 over 2 NRT0. And here we pay attention to this process is isovolumetric, so Cv should be used. This process is isobaric, so Cp should be used. And the efficiency it turns out to be 1 over 6. If it's a Carnot engine, we replace Qc over Qh with Tc over Th, and then the efficiency is uh, 1 over 2.